am uh, doing a quick fish around with Fox. This is uh, the weekend after the Coffs Comp and the family had booked in, or funnily enough for yeah, you, I'll tell the whole story. Uh, about a year ago I booked in to uh, a camping area down at Hastings and it's like right on the creek, it's a beautiful little spot and we're all excited to come down and then the weather turned really bad and then all of a sudden I got a sore stomach and I ended up like, being, like driving myself to hospital and then getting my appendix out. So we had to can the camping trip that weekend. And uh, funnily enough, the storm got so bad that the camping uh, area had to close down and they refunded our money. So we've had this store credit sitting around for um, over like about a year and we never found a time to use it. And now this is the time to use it. So we've booked into Hastings. We've just driven down on a bit of a spare of the moment camping trip. My plan is I brought some mud crab uh, traps down. So hopefully like I'll go up the creek on a paddleboard. I went and borrow a paddleboard. I've been dying to sort of uh, have a go at trying to catch a fish off a paddleboard. So this bait is so rock hard that uh, I'll smash it open somehow. And there's some there's a hard piece of concrete. <laughs> there isn't any. Top of the pole. Oh. There we go. Benito. Be interesting to see how I get all this stuff on here. Should be alright. You guys go in the front of the back, what do you reckon? Maybe the back. Go in the back. They're really not going to fall off. This should be alright. Am I going to fall off? That's the big question. As long as it's not too windy, it's quite nice. Seems nice just now. Let's get around just outside here. Oi, there's the wind. Alright. So. Oh, look at the pelicans. Ooh, it's gonna be slow going in this wind. I might just sort of go straight across and then over there a little bit. It's uh, pretty windy. So it's a bit slow going, I've had to sort of sit down because my crab pots keep falling off the back. Um, and the problem is, I'm finding it's really shallow. Just about everywhere. So, um, like, it just got slightly deeper just back there. So what I might do is uh, just get the traps ready and put the stuff in them, get the floats on. And then we will uh, just uh, drop them. <laughs> drop one over there and I think I might put one on the other side and just see how we go here. You stay there. So we got Benito. These were going to be giant swim baits at some point for big Spanish but I've sort of gone off the big bits. Pretty dodgy but as long as it holds it on there it should do the job. Could almost just walk it there in the end. <laughs> Second one. Probably should have done a lot of this before. But there's just been more camping stuff going on. And so it gets a little hectic with the kids. Don't have time to sort of think about it. Alright. Second trap. Oh, look at all the brim behind me. They're all coming in for an inspection. So there is fish here. Tiny fish. So we're getting there. Let's try and remember where we left it. And then we'll dump one maybe on the other side, just up here somewhere. 
is where the local knowledge would come in handy. Right about now. Just to sort of give you sort of some pointers as to where to head. Yeah, it's getting shallower again. What's that say? Estuarine dog whelk. <laughs> it's a type of snail, is it? The old dog whelk. Yeah, it's pretty shallow here. Not that I don't think you can get him shallow, but I think I might just sort of go. Well, look, sort of, it might get a bit deeper against this bank. I'm just going to try and power up to there in this wind. Ugh. Oh, look at that little channel there, though. Does it get deeper along here, or is it just. Or is it just weed? I think it's just weed. Which means. Yeah. Pretty shallow. All right, let's go back and uh, dump it on this side. There's a good marker, some nice palm trees. And with this one. Like that. All right, let's burn back. See what everyone's doing it. Unthread it, yeah, pop it off, yeah. Yeah, we'll put it through here. This is gonna be so long. <laughs> Otherwise it'll take us ages. We'll do it like this, that way I can, and I can use this kayak paddle. Okay. All right, you ready? Now we're cooking. Don't let go of that paddle. Just keep it out of the water, Dash. It's gonna scrape on the rocks. Oh. Almost lost me bucket. No, don't worry, we'll be, we'll get there faster. Like this than any other way though. It's so shallow. <laughs> Uh, it's too shallow. <laughs> All right, first crab trap. How full is it? Is there anything in it? Nothing, not one thing. No! <laughs> ah, what a disappointment. Wait, I wonder if someone, I wonder if someone comes and checked it and took it. You'd think it would, with that much bait gone, it was a pretty big bait. Mm, then again, I guess there's lots of things that could take it. Oh, that's a bit of a bummer. I thought we would definitely get one. Or at least a small one, you know what I mean? Still got one more trap, Dash. One more trap. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, you gotta try. You gotta try. Yeah. Alright. So I'm just gonna push you back that way. It's not a waste of time. It's still fun. Bit of a pity there was nothing there though. Yeah, I wonder if people come and check them because it's so obvious where they are. I wonder if like someone just driving past checks them. All that bait gone, like a whole fish and not one thing left in the trap. Seems a bit suspect to me. Yeah, you'd think at least some of the frame would be left or something, like, like there's bones and everything have been taken out. All right, let's go and check the next one. All right, oh, 
there's a couple of crabbies in this one. They're not very big though, yeah. <laughs> well, they might not really be big enough, I don't think. Oh, that one's definitely big enough, I think. Yeah, I'll untangle this. Oh, and you got a little broom in there. Oh, there's two crabs. Oh, three, four. Oh, we're going to have to get that. Two look big enough, too. We'll have to get that uh, broom out. I want to I wanna say hello to Benito. Just a little broom. <laughs> he got caught up in them. There he goes. <laughs> that one's a male. And you can see this one's a female. See how it's got the rounded belly? See how this one's got those straight ones? So that's a boy. But this one here, has got the big rounded, so it's female. And this one's a male, but he's too small. So, yeah, I'm not going to keep it if it's just one crab. It's not really enough for us to make a proper meal out of, you know what I mean? There we go. Daddy, so he's probably big enough, and he is a male. But one mud crab, we're really hoping to get quite a few. Look, see, there's a, still legs in that one as well. Someone's pinched our crabs, I reckon. Someone's been pinching our crabs. All right. Come on, buddy. You're going to have to let go. There he goes. Oh, we should look at that big female. Hey. All right. Oh, look, he's... Oh, sorry, Dennis. She's biting your ski. <laughs> see, this is a female. You can see the big rounded underside. So we don't really want to keep one. They're, like, we had maybe two that were big enough. But uh, one of them was a female, and I sort of feel bad. Even though in New South Wales you can keep the females. But uh, I was really hoping to get maybe like enough for a proper meal. So we'll keep doing this at um, maybe Corumban or Tully, and we'll have another couple of goes at it. So we'll let this girl go. Put her over here. <laughs> Just a test run this week. Uh, next week we're coming down to actually just a bit further down, but uh, should be just as sort of productive, and we'll put maybe two more traps out. So uh, hopefully we get like at least four or five you know, good sized males that we can have. And then, uh, then it'll be a bit more worth it. I didn't want to take those traps because they're sort of, uh, they're only just big enough, and it'd sort of be bad just to take, you know, take it just for a test when I uh, really want a proper meal out of it. So next week, We'll check back in, we'll do another video and hopefully we'll be, uh, and, and my mate that we're going camping with next week is actually a chef, so the crabs will be just that much sweeter. So uh, yeah, see you next week, we'll give it another crack. Mm -hmm.